Hey guys, well, welcome back. What you saw in my previous video, that was uh, a day before this Arctic blast. And as you can tell, it is a little bit different here. Now, <laughs> don't take long. And most of you already know what this is. Uh, this is not normal for Oklahoma. This is cold temperatures. Woke up this morning and it was zero. Guys, I, I don't know when the last time it was that cold. <laughs> Nothing's gone wrong. Nothing's gone wrong at all. Um, I don't think so. Oh, well, just kidding, right? <laughs> Arctic blast, the, the sub-zero temperatures. Uh, not not used to that in Oklahoma. What what could go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Well, Dunbar's doing good. He's he's eating everybody's feed. Uh, I'll see everybody else hanging around. They didn't even fight with that guy. But uh, so, uh, had to get a new hose, the hose busted. Water tanks are froze up, our hay tractor froze up. Had to borrow the neighbors. My mom fell, um, may have broke a rib. A bison got out, one of the cows. Flo got out uh, yesterday. Thankful uh, mom and Kevin got on it. And uh, luckily Flo is uh, one of the nice ones from the Big Joe herd. And uh, apparently she slipped out while Kevin was putting water in the water tank. but he was able to get her in with the feed bucket thankful for the feed bucket everything was fine there got her back in other than that we've been okay i think we're just cold right, what do you expect with the or the temperature of zero yeah so what you saw in the previous video that is what i heard a meteorologist call the appetizer and then uh, right now we're in the meat and what i like to call the meat and potato section of this storm They've all got the frozen goatee going on. So, which is fun because every time that they run, it's jingling. The frozen goatee. Hey, Eleanor. Just so you guys know, Eleanor's doing great. Another her little bull. Tea's frozen. Let's see what he does here. I'll tell you what, I am so thankful I am not in the north. I had a buddy text me this morning. He also raises bison. Uh, he raises a lot of bison. And he's probably dealing with a lot more problems than me, but oh, he sent me a text this morning. It was negative 24. He's located in Southwest South Dakota. Oh my Lord, negative 24. I don't know what I'd do with negative 24, uh, but, uh, and I'm a softie when it comes to being cold, but like I said, the great thing is guys, these have, we have these awesome animals and they're so dadgum tough.
you guys gotta check out Big Joe. It reminds me of like a Hispanic, uh, their holiday of, they're celebrating uh, the death of their family members. I don't know what you call it, but that's what it reminds me of. It looks like, they're, looks like those skull paintings or uh, it just looks like a ghost, like a big white bison ghost. I, uh... Funny. he's been walling around I let him out here um, in, in the lot let him have a little fun and Dunbar can come up to the fence and uh, it's a stretch but I really wanted to let him run run around and see them all together because when when they get out or when they actually run together they get all hyped up it's funny to watch them uh, run together and get excited welcome to 2021 Arctic blast in southern Oklahoma it snowed one day and then two days later it snowed again so we've probably got oh maybe seven or eight inches right now on the ground of snow and it's not gonna go anywhere for a couple of days at least but it's been crazy Kevin and I were actually watering uh, this little bird came up because we busted the ice and this little bird came up within a couple of feet and actually was drinking the water that had actually leaked off the side of the water tank it was i've never seen that before but i mean this is even hard on the birds of how cold it is here i thought it was a really neat experience this is the bison in their element and i love it because we don't get this very often and it's so fun watching these bison and it's just it's a totally different like landscape or a, just a picturesque to see them out here in all this snow you know just like you see lots of photos and videos of them at yellowstone that's it's always got snow in the winter time but here in southern oklahoma we don't get this and so there's something there's something really neat about bison and snow and i know a lot of farmers cattle farmers are going heck no you're crazy you're crazy we don't want that because obviously the cattle they can have calves right now it's a lot harder on cattle but there's just something special about um, seeing the bison in the snow how are you handling it Huh? How are you handling it? Huh? Don't bother you. Sounds like you got like you got beads on you. So you guys are probably wondering, shelter, do these animals need shelter? Uh, luckily, they don't. Um, some may in the north, I don't know, but I doubt it. These animals are able to do this for hundreds of years and survive in these conditions. And these conditions aren't as bad as some places. We do actually have a barn that's behind the silos that they can get under. It's an old barn. There's a north wall that they can get behind and, and they can stay in it if they need to. So they've been hugged around the hay for sure. And they actually do drink a lot of water. See, these animals, drink a lot of water right now keep that body warm we also supplement feed them right now for that extra warmth and it's good for them to have that supplement feed as well with the hay to keep them warm in these conditions and uh, just try to keep them healthy but obviously gotta have water so we're busting water kevin's busting water and i'm trying to rotate with him he's been busting water in the mornings i tried to get over here in the evenings away from the cabins to uh, help bust waters too as well so it's been fun for sure Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I know you guys are dealing with the Arctic blast as well. If you're in the Midwest or in the South, I know most of the country is dealing with this. So I hope you enjoy it. You guys stay warm, stay safe, and uh, make sure you be careful where you walk, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys.